If your tree hasn't been looked after for a while, prune it back into shape before considering a fruit-inducing pruning. Pruning it back into shape will thin the branches and lighten up the tree so that the sun can reach every branch. Fruit-inducing pruning will enhance the fruit harvest. Start with pruning back sprigs and shoots that are growing from the trunk, cutting them as short as you can. On the structural scaffold branches, remove the oldest branches and those that point downwards or towards the inside of the tree. After that, keep working your way up, eliminating old or damaged branches, as well as those touching or crossing each other. Doing so will keep diseases from spreading. Identify the fruiting branches on the scaffold branches. These are the fertile sprigs that will be bearing fruits. Select the most vigorous ones and eliminate all others. The goal is to open up the tree crown and increase fruit productivity for the next harvests. Fruit-inducing pruning will enhance the fruit harvest. On each fruiting branch, count three eyes from the scaffold branch. Cut slantwise so rainwater runs off from the cut mark, otherwise the bud might rot or freeze. In the following year, a sharp pointed bud appears. This bud is called a spur. A year later, the spur will have transformed yet again into a round full flower bud. The flower bud blooms and then becomes fruit.